Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of Lesser Tied to the List and we are that close to finishing our first season with Leicester and things are still going pretty well. I mean yes, in the last episode we lost the FA Cup 6th round to West Brom in extra time and it was gutting. I was gutted, you guys must have been gutted, everybody associated with football would have been gutted uh, except for maybe West Brom fans and West Brom players and West Brom manager and um, but other people probably don't care as much. Uh, but I was gutted. That's the main thing, right? And then we had a bit of a uh, not necessarily a difficult run in, but a not an easy run in. We had Brighton away. We had Man Man United, not Man City. Man United at home and Watford away, and, and all of them potential bananas against Man United. Is, is a big game anyway, it's a hard game for us, especially considering that we haven't actually done well against top six teams this year um, with our tactic not really holding onto the ball that much, just firing out the direct balls and hoping that the defence can clear the ball enough. Um, with that in mind, we're just going to run through the results that bring us up to today. So those three, keep those three fixes in mind, we'll run through those results. So the first game was Brighton away, and we beat them 2-1. Look at that. They went 1-0 ahead through Jose, or Jose Izquierdo, and then Iheanacho, the man of the season. Two goals in four minutes to give us the win. Then we had May United at home, and I was prepared. We, we went half time at halftime, we were 0-0, and I was pretty happy. Then May United went 1-0 up, and I feared the worst. But we beat them 2-1 as well. Gaitan. The other man of the season popping up with two goals. This time not in four minutes. 65th minute and 86th minute scoring right at the death to give us that 2-1 victory. And not, not to be done with just those two victories. We also smashed Watford 1-0. That's right. We absolutely smashed them. They had no chance. Ian Acho, the aforementioned man of the season, scoring the one goal of the match. To put us in a really strong position. So we are second in the Premiership. It's still very tight though. There's four games left. And provided that at the end of the next two games. The end of this episode. We're still fighting. The final two, two games of this season will be in the following episode. Um, so there we are. We are currently. We, Man City have just won the title. And um, uh, worryingly. If, if you look at the main Man City when they won the title. Um. It started off, I think, they had a bad run of form and then it started off with a 4-1 demolishing of Leicester. And then they pretty much, Premiership, went unbeaten since then uh, to clinch the title. So they've just won the title. We are three points ahead of third place Tottenham. Three points ahead of fourth place Man United. We are five points ahead of fifth place Chelsea. Eight points ahead of sixth place Arsenal. There's four games left, 12 points left on the table. Southampton, who we have next, are nine points behind us. So if they win, we could still slip down seventh. But seventh is the lowest we can go. So we have already done well there. And, and even if we get seventh, we could still get in Europe if Man City or Man United win the FA Cup as they are both still in that cup along with the likes of West Bromwich Albion. <sighs> Um, but there we are. So the next game is at home to Southampton. So let's have a quick look at our run-in. We have got Southampton at home. That's going to be today. Then we've got Man City at home. That's, that's going to be today. It might not be a win. But hopefully they've turned off by then. Then we've got Burnley away. That could be tomorrow's episode. And Tottenham at home again. Could be tomorrow's episode. Depending on if there's anything left to play for. We're going to go straight now to the King Power Stadium. Where I'll meet you for the Southampton game. Come on Leicester! So here we are, we, we've literally just kicked off and I forgot to do the intro to the game. Um, and it's mainly because we left that last intro to the episode a little bit overzealous, a little bit overexcited. I've calmed down now, but it's the exciting prospect of maybe being in the Champions League first season in. Um, especially in this challenge where my entire goal was to get Leicester into Europe. And, and we made me do it in the first season. So I'm a little bit overexcited. I have calmed myself. I have. But... Let's look at the team quickly. There's no surprises here. It's the strongest team possible. Um, 
Silva is playing instead of Storaro in midfield now because Storaro hasn't decided he wants to join us permanently, so he can do one. We've, we've got Silva, but Silva's wanted now by Man United, so he'll probably leave at the end of the season anyway, as per the rules of the challenge. Um, Morgan is still playing centre-back. We do need a new centre-back at the end of the season. Hopefully, if we can get Champions League, we might be able to convince Van Dijk to come here. That'd be interesting, right? Because he is transfer listed still. So maybe we get Van Dijk. Chilwell was playing at left back, um, maybe because we need to push him on, as I've said previously. Uh, and of course, we've got the man, or the men, up front of Ian Nacho, Gaetan, De La Fayou, and Correa. So let's head on to the kickoff of the game. And it's been kicked off, and here we are from right to left. Forster, big ball out from Forster. Gabbiadini will challenge. Maguire gets onto it. Tadic now to Gabbiadini. Into one pie and one pie puts it over. Here we go. Corner. Delefeu in. Morgan's there. And it's been dropped by Forster. And it's been tapped in by Maguire. It's not going to be Maguire's goal. It's going to be Forster's. This is embarrassing for Southampton. Morgan with a header. <laughs> Forster just throws the ball behind himself. And Maguire makes sure of it. So it's half time. It's 1 0. Things are looking a little bit tasty out there. We're enjoying it. Fraser Force's own goal uh, is enough at the moment. Let's kick off. Well, Southampton will kick off. And uh, hopefully, there's Virgil. Is he going to be our new player next season? I hope so. That'd be good. Zafa Costa makes tackle. It's going to be a free kick. And Southampton will take this free kick early on. Tadic. Plays it across to Redmond. Redmond hits it. I said Richmond earlier. I meant Redmond. Morgan now to De Lefeu. De Lefeu, lovely ball. Ian Nacho's one on one and he scores past Forster. It's 2 0. It's a bit more comfortable. We are second place. We're six points ahead of the closest teams behind us. This is a lovely ball from De Lefeu. Beats Van Dyke easily and Ian Acho. Damari Gray. Tackle by Cedric. Now it's Gabbiadini. Zappa Costa gets it away. Now it's Delafeo to Correa. Gabbiadini now plays it out to Cedric. Cedric whips the ball in. Davis is there. It's 2 1. It's now looking dicey. Nine minutes to go. Are Southampton striking a comeback here? Tadic, lovely reverse pass. And then Gabbiadini with a clever ball out to Cedric. That's a lovely finish. Cedric with the throw in. Maguire to Damari Gray. Came on for Guy Tan. Maya Yoshida who came on for the underperforming Van Dyke. Stephen Davis knocks it in. Zappa Costa taps it to Shemichael. But Yoshida is back there. Tadic now. Davis to Yuri and Yuri puts it wide. 15 seconds left on the clock. Forster, big ball out to Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini, lose it to Maguire this time. Catrone to Ndidi. De Lefeu plays it back to Catrone. It's all over. It's a 2-1 win. Really, really great result for us. It's another 2-1 win. They've played very well. And Tottenham lost to Watford earlier in the day. So that is six points ahead of Tottenham. Three games left on the clock. So here we are back at the King Power for the second time this episode. And this time we face the champions of the Premiership, Man City. And even though they've won the title and they've just played Champions League, Man City is still putting out a ridiculously strong team. Sané, Sterling, Jesus, De Bruyne, Gundogan. Otamendi, Company, Carl Walker, Edison, Fernandinho, Men like, So we don't expect to win this. Um, but we can we can afford to lose a game, I think. Um, here we go, let's kick off. Dale Afeu on the ball, crosses it in. Ian Acho's there, has been beaten to it, but Gautan's there. Cross it in, Correa has hit the post. Oh, Correa. De Bruyne now with Man City to Fernandinho. Jesus plays in Sané. Sané's there. Sané scores. It's 1-0 Man City. 
We don't need to see the replay. The goal was good, take my word for it. And at half time, it's 1 0 to Man City. Um, disappointing, I guess. Chilwell with the throw in to Ibora. Now it's Silva. Plays it across to Morgan. Morgan does well. Holds it up. Plays it to Zappa Costa. Zappa Costa, ball in. Ian Acho back to Correa and Correa puts it wide. He's had two good chances now in this match. Mendy with the free kick to Man City. It's been a very dull affair this game. And Bernardo Silva's on the ball. Tackled by Silva. Arla Toran to Ian Acho. Ian Nacho's got the overlap. Plays it to Gaitan. Gaitan's got players in the box. Crosses it. De La Foza. De La Foza scores. It's one all. I'd be happy of a one all here. This is a really great counter-attack. Ian Acho holds up the ball as long as possible, then plays out to Gaitan, then Gaitan looks up, and he's got four players streaming into the box. Plays to Dale Lefeu, who's the furthest far forward, who knocks it in with his head. Dale Lefeu crosses in the corner. Morgan. It's a penalty. Oh my god, we could win it at the death. A penalty here. Walker. Arda Toran is going to be taking the penalty. Walker has been booked. It's 1 all. Arda Toran, 93rd minute. Penalty. Edison in goal. Arda Toran to take it. And Arda Toran scores. 10 million well spent. That could seal us in the Champions League. Great penalty. Great penalty. Surely it's all over. Maybe one throw of the dice left for Man City. De Bruyne. Tackle by Delefo, And it's all over. Full time. It's another 2-1 victory. We have come back yet again. This is 90th minute and the 94th minute to win this game. Let's have a look at the table in just a second. We've qualified for Europe. We have qualified for the Euro Cup. Season 1 of the challenge. And we've qualified for Europe. That's amazing. Let's have a quick look at the table though. So we are in second place. We are 11 points ahead of Arsenal. They can't catch us. They have three games left. They can get 69 points maximum. Chelsea can catch us though if they win all of their games. And this game, this weekend, they have Man United at home. So we're going to skip forward just today just to see how Chelsea got on. We are a Champions League team. Chelsea have drawn with Man United thanks to the beautiful bastard Paul Pogba. And it's the only time you'll hear me say that. As a Liverpool fan, it's the only time you'll hear me say that. But thank you, Man United. Arsenal lost as well. Chelsea can't catch us. They are nine points behind us. We are in the Champions the, the last two games now are meaningless. We're in the Champions League. There we are. We have qualified for the Champions League. And we've been given £70 million to spend. Um, which isn't on top of the already £50 million we had. Which is a bit annoying. But it, we've still got a shitload of money. So maybe we'll buy some more players. Maybe Van Dijk will join us. Who knows? Tomorrow's episode. We're not even going to show a game tomorrow. That sounds boring. Uh, tomorrow's episode is going to be a transfer episode, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Tomorrow's episode, uh, we probably don't need to show a game because we can't really change anything else in the league. So, we'll come back tomorrow, end of the season, quick wrap-up of the season. We'll look at some players. We'll decide some transfers and maybe go straight into the new season. But... It's time for celebration. Leicester fans everywhere. Games flea fan. Everywhere. Celebrate tonight. Eat, drink and be merry for tomorrow. We buy. See you later.